our agent Marty Baum said, look, if you guys want to just go make a film and be totally left alone, there are two new guys in town. Menachem Golden and Yoram Globus were the heavyweights. They were the George Foremans and the Muhammad Ali's of the indie market. Canon is the only company who loves cinema. Cinema is our life. Yoram Globus was the businessman behind the movie making. Where is my money? You promise and promise and promise and you are not paying. Menachem Golan was the movie maker. Menachem, I cannot do it. I'm dying. He said, you know, do it and then die. I just had in my head what a movie producer should be, and Menachem just didn't quite fit that picture. He redubbed me with an American voice, but not a voice similar to mine. A true ninja doesn't kill. He eliminates, and only for defensive purposes. He's so not ninja. I don't know, I've never seen a ninja. They were the forerunners of the Weinsteins. The difference is the Weinsteins cared about quality. Sometimes we make better films, sometimes we, we don't make such good films, but we do make films. One of my first questions was, how much money do you think you'll be spending on it? And they said, oh, probably $10 million. I think they ended up spending about $3.75 on it. They were considered schlockmeisters. It's schlock, but they sure do make a lot of it. The name of the game is to do, not just to blah, 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 blah. Talk about it. <laughs> Everything we got would go in two piles for the two Chucks, Bronson and Norris. It could have been Wuthering Heights, which one is for Chuck and which one is for the other Chuck. The audience wasn't prepared for the craziness, the looniness. Ninja 3 The Domination managed to take The Exorcist, a ninja movie, and combine it with Flashdance. Guys, really? I mean, that's insane. Sylvester Stallone showed up and he pointed up to Dolph. He goes, you gave that guy lines? This is our fight. I don't want innocent people to die. I felt a little stupid doing it. Why the orangutan came to the office. I mean, not deciding whether to sign the orangutan to put him under contract. It was crazy. Talking to a monkey. This would be an epic of cinema. Blockbuster of the century. Oh, God. We are in so much trouble. And that's why they put a stamp on pop culture. It's hard to say it. <laughs> Where's Canon Films without laughing? At the end of the movie, I had tears in my eyes. And then Ockham, he says, ha ha, I got you. I was crying because I saw my career going down the toilet and I didn't know what I was going to do next. <laughs> It was almost like a bowel movement. You make a movie, it comes out, you flush it, and you move on to another one. Hey guys, Lisa here with a quick Hollywood update. First up, Liam Neeson's new film, A Monster Calls, has started production. Neeson will portray the title monster in the Juan Antonio Bayona directed film. Next up, Quentin Tarantino will shoot Hateful Eight in Colorado this December. Hmm. You know that Colorado put together a $5 million incentive package for Tarantino to shoot the film in Denver. Huh, not such a bad idea, hey. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Remember, keep it tuned for all the latest releases, and I'll see you next time. Bye.